Hello fellow ADD coders, welcome to another video. This is a quick one to show a feature of ADDX that hasn't really been documented that well. Uh, it's a feature I added recently just for myself but I realized it was probably quite useful for other people and that's a way to import a bulk number of sprites like this. You may have seen another video I showed previously where you had to separate the images out with spaces to account for the pre-shift uh, and this meant that the amount of sprites was quite limited but uh, with this new method you can import a whole load of sprites like this uh, quite quickly and easily into your game so if you've drawn them on here or if you've taken a sprite sheet like this for example which is from Manic Miner um, which I've just been messing about with uh, then you can do it quite easily and uh, I'll show you how it's done so the first thing we need to do then very simply we'll turn off the attributes so we can see uh, where the sprite lines are and obviously you can see here sets of 4x4 four four, or 2x2 two two, I should say characters. Uh, we switch on the block select and we basically highlight this whole four rows here and uh, we don't need to worry about those extras at the end either. Those, those here we don't need to worry about that. That, that won't be imported uh, when we use this method. So all we have to do now is save it off. So we'll choose um, export and uh, we choose export selection uh, you'll see that come up and uh, I've done this once already but we'll choose uh, binary files and uh, we'll call it uh, in this case we'll call it uh, manic sprites dot bin obviously I created this once already and then here we'll choose block based output block pixel 16 by 16 no attributes we press OK and that's all we need to do within ZX Paintbrush. That's uh, pretty much it. So now we'll switch over to uh, AGD and I'll show you how to set that up. So now what we need to do is we know how many sprites there are. They're going to be seven. And uh, each one of these is going to have uh, four frames. The thing to remember here is the number of sprites, which remember here was, is going to be seven. So I'll just make here uh, the whole set and add all the frames and uh, I'll go through this obviously what we're doing here is we're just creating the space uh, in the memory so that we'll be able to bring all this data in uh, straight away so um, we'll just check if I've done all of that here we can see one two three and one two three and here uh, let me just see uh, frame one two three yes and image one yep good okay now uh, basically what we're going to use here is the code which actually compresses the data when you use the uh, editor but in fact we can uh, we can uh, when you're editing events uh, but we can actually make use of that to import sprite data and uh, there's a little option on the main menu what you do is you press control s so rather than s for sprites you press control s and that brings up a little menu which says import export ready and all we have to do is load the sprites into the right place in memory and uh, to do that we have to make a calculation and the calculation is basically number of sprites multiplied by 2 plus 2 and then we add that to 49152 which is where the sprites are currently being stored because they're now currently comp in a compressed form at that location so we'll make the calculation here 7 sprites uh, times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16 plus 49152 so this tells us the location of the sprite data which is currently compressed and all we have to do is load our binary in at that address and it will overwrite the current compressed data which of course is blank data so if we load the binary in here choose the file here and put in our address 491 Six, eight, press OK and then just press any key and now if you go back you'll see here if I press the uh, sprite sheet there you go I've got all of that data and uh, these ones at the end didn't matter because I chose seven sprites and so you can import a whole load of sprites from ZX paintbrush very quickly and easily using this method okay so uh, that's it really very quick one just something I hadn't really documented too well before and probably something that will save you a good bit of time I hope. I'm not sure which version of AGDX this is works in. I think it works from 4H uh, maybe. 
uh, perhaps earlier I'm not sure but uh, anyway uh, it, it certainly works in the latest version so you can download that from uh, from my itch page okay thanks a lot then for watching I hope you found that useful I uh, might be back with another video soon and uh, in the meantime as always happy coding thanks a lot bye bye